Have you ever wondered why donuts have holes, or who was the first person that put pineapples on the pizza? These are the questions I'll look up at three o'clock in the morning when I can't fall asleep. Interesting, huh? But you know what's more interesting? Biodiversity. I just came across an account called Truly. It's a YouTube channel that posts videos showcasing individuals and communities who challenge societal norms and embrace their differences. After seeing some of their titles, I just can't help but thinking, "Wow, the world is full of surprises, huh?" So in today's video, we're gonna react to some of the surprises together. But before we get into today's video, my name is Black Siren, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm so fucking angry with that bitch, Gina. This is 24-year-old Karan, and he fell in love with 61-year-old Cheryl. Oh my god, is she dead? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> what? The pair bonded due to their mutual love of TikTok and garnered much attention due to their 37-year age gap. In what year? Dog years? Grammy, stop hitting on your great-grandson. Okay, you know what? Be open-minded. Be open-minded. You can do this. <laughs> Got married. The water was running beside us. It was very beautiful. Now, they want to grow their family and have children. What? How can she... The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Okay, okay. There, there's a song... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Is there still eggs in the basket? I... Oh. You know, they could adopt, I guess. There's a lot of ways to have kids. Yeah, you know, be open-minded. Okay. I can't keep her hands off me. <laughs> she get me aroused, I'm telling you, it happens so often. So often, so often, so often. Wow. This is like watching a flip phone and a smartphone having a relationship together. Since then, the couple have taken their relationship up a notch when Karan proposed to Cheryl. I proposed July 30th. Oh my god, do you see that? He purposely dyed his beard and hair to look older. They made it very special, my TikTok fans, because they donated over $3,000 on Cheryl's ring in one day. I looked at her and immediately started crying. I was like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So I dropped down. I was like, will you marry me? And then she was like, yes. Some of the backlash I received, they say I'm dating my grandmother. They say she can never bear children from you. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. She looks like she was there when Caesar was assassinated. Cheryl's not dying no time soon. She's not dead. Not for long though. <laughs> not for long though. That's a messed up comment. It really is. <gasps> Grammy, stop hitting on your great grandson. What's weird to you is normal to us. Now these newlyweds want to start a family together, but this has come with complications due to Cheryl's age. We're going to go to see some baby clothes in a nursery. We are looking for a surrogate mother for adoption. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm interested in somebody that is carrying a child that cannot care for this child that just wants to reach out to us. I would love it just like I love the rest of my kids. Okay, I'm just curious. How much of an age gap in a relationship is considered acceptable? Let me know in the comments. Today, my daughter Ashley is coming over with my grandkids to visit. My grandkids love Karan. They already call him Papa. I have seven children and they were upset when me and Karan got together. Age doesn't really matter. Thank you, I appreciate it. We and appreciate actions you. speak louder than words. Like, you're always there for us. If we had a baby, do you think it would be a problem? No, it wouldn't be a problem. So you're ready to welcome in another sibling? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to have another brother or sister. Right. <laughs> have you ever come across those street interviews where the pedestrians are being asked questions? And some of them are the younger generations, the Gen Zs like you and I. And some of them are the middle-aged demographics, right? And they're being asked questions like, 
do you accept if your kid is homosexual? Or is it okay if your kid say, I don't want to get married, I don't want to have kids in the future? And a lot of people, including the middle-aged demographic, they're very open-minded. They will be like, oh yeah, sure. I don't care. Do whatever they want. But what if the table now is turned? We're being asked, is it okay if one of your parents is getting married to somebody who is younger than you? Now I feel so hypocritical because whenever I'm watching those street interviews and when those pedestrians say, no, it's a sin to be gay. No, I cannot accept if they're not going to get married or if they're not going to have kids in the future. I would be so judgmental. I would just be like, ew, gross. She was there when Eve stole the apple from the tree. <laughs> I wasn't there. Cheryl has made me to be a better human altogether, like a better man, a better human. She makes me want to do better, like all the in life. I don't regret meeting Cheryl. She really improved everything about me, every aspect. The heart falls in love with who the heart falls in love with. It sees no age, it sees no color, it sees nothing but love. And that's exactly what we have for each other. Are you sure? Oh my god, I would be so scared to hug her. Because imagine if you hug her and there's like dust coming out of her. Listen, here's the thing. I rather this is a transactional relationship. I rather he's actually in it for the money. I think that will make more sense. But apparently from the video, this is actually true love. Apparently... I think I'm not ready for this because obviously good luck with this couple because she's not my mom. You know, it doesn't happen to me in real life. But imagine if my mom tells me that she's going to marry to somebody who is younger than me. Girl, guys, I need help. Am I being hypocritical? Or is this morally not acceptable? Please tell me I'm not the only person. Okay, what is your opinion? Let me know in the comments because I am just very curious. This is Rebecca. She fell in love with Catherine. Hello. Who's in this space right now? <laughs> but before meeting, Rebecca was already in a relationship with Rupert, a ghost. Are you here? by Rebecca. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. So, these two girls are in a relationship, but Rebecca is also in a relationship with the girls. Huh? What? Personally speaking, I've never heard a ghost say, Ooh, but I have heard a ghost say, help me get off my grave and things like that. This is my partner, Catherine, and I have been judged before because I am also in a relationship with a ghost. His name is Rupert. I met him in front of a local historic home. He was a Revolutionary War soldier. He is originally from Wales, and when I met him, he was wearing a red coat. Wow. Sometimes I'm just jealous. Someone is able to find a partner who's as just delusional as them. <laughs> He was standing right here. I was walking past. He was following a ghost tour that I had just led. And he called out to me. And he asked me if I was walking home alone. He asked if he could escort me. Which kind of gave me Stranger Danger vibes because that had never happened to me before, especially from a ghost. But he seemed OK. He seemed really nice. And so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give you five blocks. Oh, yeah, sure. This is completely normal. Out of nowhere, a fucking ghost just pops out and say, hey, can I squirt you? We both had to learn each other's languages. He had to learn how I was psychically perceiving him. With respect, he started hanging out more where I was living. He was always very clear on boundaries, on wanting consent. He never wanted to press being inside or anything like that. Listen, this is what happens when you go to Vina and try mushroom for the first time. 
I did a past life regression and I did know him. I knew him back in 1781 when he was stationed here as a part of the 82nd Regiment. He and I used to be married when he was alive. You know, for a long time, I think myself as a crazy person, but thanks to Rebecca, I think I'm normal. What is your intimate and sexual relationship like with Rupert? Mm -mm. <laughs> Exactly, no. Rupert and I are primarily sharing emotions because of the very clear physical differences between us. We met on TikTok. I found Rebecca and I thought, wow, this is great. Is it me or her teeth are green? <laughs> is she a witch? We met in person a year after we had started talking. Yeah. I took you on a tour. It was like 11 p.m. at night and we're walking around downtown and I was like, this is where this happened and this is where this happened. You met Rupert that night. I met Molly. You met Molly, Jimothy, mm -hmm. George. I met everybody. <laughs> you got to meet all of those ghosts. We became best friends <laughs> and then we stopped ignoring how we felt for each other. I think you meant you guys shared a one mushroom together. There is no jealousy. I have such respect for the work that was done, for the connection that they have. If anything, I feel like excitement and pride for the both of them. You went to him and you checked with him on things. I you, did. You told him your feelings for me before you told me. I did. <laughs> I absolutely did. I was like, please don't hate me. But... <laughs> There's an old Chinese saying called 不是一家人,不进家门, which translates to birds of a feather flock together. This is literally the perfect example. So I'm gonna do three, two, one. Where do you pick up on him? Three, two, one. <laughs> Aha, yeah, okay, also felt him behind you, yes. You know, sometimes people like this just makes me wanna eat my own shit. Some of the comments we get are, you're crazy. They're letting everybody out of the asylums nowadays. That's a really good story that you just made up. A lot of people are like, ah, clearly she's lying. But I really enjoy the stories. Find Jesus. Um, I don't think you need Jesus. I think what you need is stop taking mushrooms and battery acid. I've had a number of people try to contact me and say, Rupert's talking to me. And I'm like, no, he's not. And I'm concerned about who you're talking to. I'm actually concerned about who <laughs> you're talking to. Is it the voice in your head? The overwhelming response is positive. People are very supportive. What's worth it to me? The amount of people who come forward and they say, you made me feel sane, thank you. It was really like a community built on people that says, oh, I thought I was losing it. Thank you for talking about this. Also, oh, you are telling me there's actually a population out there who think they're in a relationship with a ghost. Now, here's what I think. I do believe there's some paranormal activities cannot be explained by science because there are certain things, activities that happened in my life that made me believe there's actually ghosts. Like you cannot tell me otherwise. You cannot convince me with science. I wouldn't believe that. But this is just beyond delusional. This is an S-Box. It is one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have. As it scans through radio signals, it's giving a white noise that they can either pull sound from to respond with using the radio signals coming through. Hello. Hi. What do I have to do to get you to say something? Did you just hear a call count? <laughs> okay. Can somebody tell me, do those frequency detector thingy actually work? Can it actually detect ghosts? Because for a long time, I was so curious of getting one. I almost got one. But then again, I was thinking, I don't want to hear those frequency. I want to hear actual ghost talking to me, like in words for words. I love Rebecca for her talent. I feel very privileged to be in this sphere with her. She is like a star and I am just gazing up. What I love about you the most is how you make me feel seen. I don't worry about the future with you. I'm so caught up in how happy I am in the present. We often say that the future is malleable and because of that, the future is what we make it. And I think what we're making here is unique and curious and beautiful. 
to you. I think it's a blessing if you can find a partner who's willing to do stupid shit like this with you. Even if it's not real, like even if it's a fucking lie, if this person is willing to do this with you, for you, that's a relationship goal, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.